Amen. Thank you very much to Lauren and Michali for that discussion. And I must say that, again, these are conversations that we should be actually having and shed light into them because you'd find a lot of people tend to sweep these things under the carpet. But right now, today, ladies and gentlemen, we have... Are you guys ready? We have Damian Ross, who is a singer, songwriter, and also a vocal coach. Um, he graduated from the School of Music at UCT at the age of 24. And also, Damian is inspired by the likes of Whitney Houston, Luther Van Ross, the Clark Sisters, to mention a few. Ladies and gents, and also, if you do have any questions for him, please make sure that you hop on, on all our social media platforms. And if you have questions about his career, his music, ladies and gents, let's welcome the one, the only, Tim Ross! Okay. How are you doing, man? I am good, thank you. I'm so excited like, to be here. It's the energy. I was like, I was so here, <laughs> and it just made sure that he just <laughs> shoot it down me. Okay, thank you. <laughs> we want to welcome you on XA, and um, let's get straight to it. Uh, the single that you, you, you have, Every Time I Think of You. Yeah. Let's focus to it, because that song has been on top charts. He's been on, on number one on Radio KC. Ah, man. How has it been for you? It has been a lovely journey, yeah. and for my very first song to be taken that far, yeah. it's just like, wow, God is saying, wow, you really should be doing this. <laughs> <laughs> you see, such people who are so talented, where they're like, ah, no, it just came to me, and I'm just <laughs> taking it easy. So, with how people responded to the single, and how did you take it? Because you do say that it was your first one, and how, how was it, the process of actually making it, and into releasing it, and into people receiving it? The overwhelming love was like, okay, Damien, this is what you should be doing. Yeah. And that just gave me the confirmation, like I said, like, yeah, Damien, you should be singing and entertaining us. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Also, I want to say, you are one of people that actually shared stages with the likes of Amanda Black. So take us through the anxiety of actually knowing that, okay, where I'll be performing, there's Amanda Black. Take us through the process. How was it for you? So I was part of the choir that performed alongside Amanda. Yeah. She's a great person, lovely singer, yeah. everything. Uh, so yeah, the performance anxiety is like, ooh, it's Amanda Black, so you really have to know your stuff. Yeah, but yeah, it was yeah. a great experience, and I'll do it over and over again. Over and over <laughs> again! again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and also, I want to ask, because you tend to find people who are artists, and even the stuff that we post on social media, we tend to post the best stuff. But now, with your performances and you being on stage, have you ever had like your worst performance, and how did you deal with it? I wouldn't say it was my worst performance, but the most uncomfortable one was when I was sick yeah. and my throat was a bit congested and everything was like just not working well. And then I had to sing on a sore throat. It was oh. really uncomfortable and I couldn't cancel the show, but I was like, okay, let's do this. And yeah, I couldn't give my best. So yeah. that is the most uncomfortable, but not the worst. Not the worst. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that's coming. You never know. <laughs> no, it's not. Hopefully it's not. Okay. Also, with your music and how you decided to, to actually get into the world of music. What actually drived you into that? Because um, you do mention the people that inspired you, um, which is a great legend. So take us through the process of actually you now um, deciding to make music. Did, like, did it come as a calling? Like, ding, yeah. you can do this. <laughs> so I started singing at the age of six. Yes. Um, and I was really drawn to music and everything about it. And I was like, okay, I have this voice. Let's see what I can do with it. And yeah. I remember the first time I sang on stage, I was six years old. Okay. And the people came flooding to the stage. Where? And they gave, like, uh, somewhere. I don't remember where. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and they gave me money, and I was like, I don't understand what's going on. And now, being where I am now, it's like, yeah. okay, that was that little that star that was, like, shining. And it's like, okay, you can take this further. Nice. So, I, I like the fact that you just mentioned that, ah, at the age of six, someone that was on stage just <laughs> performing, and they gave me money. <laughs> also, okay, with your career and your music and where you are planning to go, um, in terms of collaborations, anyone in specific that you'd be like, if I were to collaborate with this artist or work with this one, ah, uh, I'm done. Well, there's a lot, like Amanda Black. Yes. Chad time and if, if I get to work with the Clark sisters. <laughs> um, Hopefully, yes. Zicky Winans as well. I'm also a huge gospel fan. Okay. So I might even do some gospel songs in the future. Yes. But I'm very keen to connect with any and everyone who wants to make good music. Okay, that's great. And also, um, with your music and um, how it's, it's been received by people, um, did it hit the spot that you intended it to, to hit? Um, and for someone who's there who doesn't know, what kind of sound do you actually make? I didn't expect my songs to go where they went. Yeah. So that was like, I had to take a breather, because I'm like, 
okay, wow, this is big stuff. Because yeah. it's not just a recording on your phone. Everyone has access to that. Yes. So um, the overall experience, uh, it's something that I'm learning to get used to. I'm not quite there yet. Yes. But yeah, it's a process that I am willing to take. <laughs> okay, on an ordinary day, how's your day looking like? Just a random day. Like the singing. <laughs> do you sing every time you do anything? When any, anything turns into a song, I can knock on the table and make a song after that. <laughs> Let's try it out. What? <laughs> I'm just putting you on the spot. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but we want to thank you for actually taking the time to come here. Um, do you have any last words and where can we find your music? You can find my music on all streaming platforms worldwide. Yes. Um, yeah, I have a concert coming up. Um, yes. I'm turning 25 and I'd like to have a concert. And yeah, you'll see everything on my social media pages, Damien Ross Music. Oh, ladies and gents, that was Damien Ross giving us some good vibes, some good music. And also, don't forget the social media question we do have for you, which is, have you ever been abandoned and how do you deal with it? Ladies and gents, let's go and drink Amanzu. We'll be back after this.